Hey, it's Stace here from Next Edge Tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm gonna be showing you the secret to a great combination spin. So when I think of a great combination spin, I think of two things, the speed of the spin and how centered it is. Now I know skaters that have amazing speed on a combination spin, but they travel all over the ice. And then I also know other skaters who have a great centered spin, but it is so slow. At any moment, they are going to fall over. So today we're gonna to be looking at two things on how to fix a combination spin so that it's fast, and centered. All right, the very first thing that we're gonna be looking at is how to get centered in a combination spin. The spin that we're gonna be looking at today is going to be a camel, sit, change foot, back sit, upright. So we have to get centered on that very first leg in the camel position. So we push in, we have to get centered in our camel first. You have to be completely centered and the camel, then move to the sit. Camel sit. You cannot do a sit spin if your camel is traveling. So camel, sit, and then we have back sit upright. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, Stace, I can do a camel sit and I can also do on its own a back sit upright. It's putting the two together. And this is where skaters struggle. Now there are two mistakes that happen during this change of the foot. Either they step right underneath themselves or they step too wide. And they're on a completely different center of a spin. Now, how do we fix that? This is my favorite part. So after we do the sit spin, we're gonna make sure that we do a push. Push and then come back. So I'm really focusing on that stepping and pushing with this left foot to gain speed. That's going to help it become fast and also centered. So let's take a look at just that push. Sit spin, step out, push around, and then into the back sit. So that's what the feet are doing. Now the second part of this is the upper body. We can increase our speed with this right arm, pulling it back and then using it. So let's work on just that part there. Sit spin, now I open, pull it back, push and bring it. You can increase your speed, and that's what we want combination spins. We want them to be fast and also centered. So if you're not ready to go in the middle of the ice and work on that combination spin, I want you to come to the barrier. Now let's go over the two mistakes one more time just so that you have an understanding because when you understand the two mistakes, you can easily fix this, the two mistakes. So we have the first one, it's stepping underneath yourself. Underneath. This leads for a great center, no speed. So underneath, we don't wanna do that. The second one is going from your spin, stepping out and then bringing your leg to you, which yes, you can get a big push and hold so you might have speed, but you're centered, you're, it's not a centered combination spin. What you want to be doing, now I'm gonna have Mitch come around a bit more. From this sit spin, you want to skate out, step back to the spin, and then push around. So I'm gonna face, I'm gonna come off the barrier a bit. So we're here, we skate, it's step, and then spin. It's a lot easier with speed, but you have to understand that concept, that there's skating, and then we step back onto the spin, and that's what allows it to be nice and centered from one leg to the other. All right, before we move on, I'm gonna show you these two mistakes out in the open. So I'm gonna do camel, sit, back, sit, upright. Sit, 
So it's definitely hard for me to pull it into an upright because I wasn't balanced at all. Now let's look at the second mistake. So you can clearly see on that first one, I stepped underneath and on the second one, I stepped out and it became an entirely different spin. Now, let's fix it with that here in the sit, skating and stepping back and then going into a back sit. All right, before we move on, I want you to click on the link below in the description for your free PDF guide on the four turns that we have in figure skating. This goes over our three turns, our counters, our brackets, and our rockers. We have inside, we have outside, we have forwards, and we have backwards. So if you want the knowledge of our four turns that we have in figure skating, I want you to give it a click. All right, so we have spoken about how to get a centered combination spin and how to get power on that change of foot. Now, how do we get even more power? It's through the change of positions that we can gain speed and power. Now, I'm gonna show you two examples. The first one is going to be no power in speed when I go from that camel to the sit, and the second one, I'm gonna show you getting speed from that camel to the sit. All right, now let's add more power and speed from that camel to the sit. What you want to do every time you do a combination spin, you want to try to increase that speed from that camel to the sit to the back sit, to the upright. This is how you get fast spins, is trying to every single time increase, increase. Just don't maintain your spins, increase them. Because I know that you could see the difference between that first camel sit and then the second one. All right, now the last place that we can grab more speed is within the spin. So you might be doing a sit spin and your arms are out. You can grab speed by pulling them into your body. And then another place you can grab speed is when you're in that up back upright, you can pull them up over your head and stretch it out. I want you trying these positions. Try to increase your speed within that position. So let's give, let me give you two examples. So we're gonna do a sit spin and we're gonna try to grab more speed. And then we're gonna do a back spin and then try to grab even more speed. See how I was able to take my arms out and hopefully I added more speed to that spin by pulling my arms in. And you don't want it to be a fast in because you will not gain speed that way. It's like you're fighting against something to bring it into your body. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the back spin and then pulling it in and then adding our arms up over our head. And there you have it. This is going to be how you get a fast, centered combination spin. All right, that concludes our lesson today on the secret to a great combination spin. Now, I want you to give this a go. I want you to figure out if these helped you or they didn't help you. I want you to comment below. That way I know, okay, I need another lesson on how to teach this so that you understand it. Because you might be like, Stacy, you are insane. This does not work for me. So comment below so that I can help you. Thanks for watching Next Edge Tutorials and looking forward to seeing you in our next lesson.